Hey guys, what's going on? Coming in hot here. Uh, it's game day with Dash. What's going hey, on, everybody? Buddy? You guys miss me? <laughs> I miss you. This is weird. I re- realize I cannot actually listen to anything that's going on in this uh, in the DAZN stream in this case, and actually like try to carry out a conversation right now. This I know weird. it's weird because it's like I have it pulled up on one of my screens, and it's like I can't. I don't want to turn on the audio because who knows? We might get flagged for it. Yeah, I, I mean, we did see that, even though you did an excellent job cutting and trimming and all that stuff, so it would be an issue. <laughs> you had a, a whopping seven seconds cut out of uh, was the the pregame, below the pregame, yeah. yeah. You, you know, the funny thing about it is, is like, and, and that's where I have my gripes with Syria, where it's like, literally educational purposes, like, none of the audio was used, it was just a clip of a, a movement, and I guess that was like the one clip that wasn't slowed down at all by the frame rate and apparently they got that one but everything else was fine even though like the whole thing was educational use like completely interesting interesting yeah um youtube can be a very interesting thing um and excuse me i'm just tweeting out that we have gone live here i literally like Came in the door, kicked my dogs outside, had a shower because I was a sweaty mess, and like, bam, <laughs> here I am. I grabbed a sandwich, haven't touched it yet, and it's not a very good one. It's a pre-packaged tuna <laughs> sandwich. It's a few days old. It's what I got. Um, please excuse me because it's, I mean, it's disgusting, but I'm gonna eat it anyways. Oh, hey, I mean, it's better than what I had. I grabbed a Big Mac on the way home. Oh man, yeah, anything better than Big Mac. Hopefully you see a bit of uh, Big Mac tonight, eh? I know, right? It's it's a sign. I ate a Big Mac. That means Big Mac is going to score. There you go. The omens are speaking. Sorry. Super clicky keyboard. <coughs> one day I will get a, a quiet one, but keyboards are like 200 bucks for like actual nice ones. So I'm not... There's other things you gotta spend the money on, you know what I'm saying? No, oh, for sure. I did just get my second monitor, which is awesome. I, this is exactly why I need the second monitor. So I have one vertical, which I'm kind of working off right now, and I can have the chat and everything. And mm-hmm. then I have an ultra wide monitor right in front of me. Uh, okay. For just like the cinematic excellence, if you will. Yeah, I saw it on the WhatsApp too. So like you had it, yeah, you I had it you set up. Yeah, it's a really dope setup. Um, I guess uh, I can treat people with that. I suppose get a little peek inside. Uh, and I mean, people don't realize that I custom cut out the uh, Juventus logo into my computer. So, I mean, just to flex that a little bit as well. Hey, number ten, what's up, Bones? You guys ready for our for our little watch along? Yeah, Bones, hopefully uh, you got that message there in Discord. I didn't give you the code there to get your T-shirt. I'm, this is how backwards I am. I'm going through the WhatsApp chat to get the picture that I took instead of actually <laughs> going through my Google account where the photo gets saved to. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a dummy. Puppy's showing up, showing up for the game. Where's your soccer ball, puppy? So, uh, guys watching on the live stream, uh, we'll try not to spoil it for you guys, just in case if our our game feeds are. Oh, they're gonna bit... know before us. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think you guys might know before us, so we'll try to keep it poker faced. Um, I'm gonna have a live ticker up, so it kind of like shows us something per se instead of nothing. Instead of us just literally talking with both of our faces, I'll show, I'll give you guys some content. Yeah, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not the actual game because, you know, I don't look good in an orange jumpsuit. So, uh, <laughs> the orange, who's wearing an orange jumpsuit? That's a uh, prison uniforms in the U.S. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Of course. I, I mean, everyone's watched Orange is the New Black, I suppose. So, or at least seen parts of it. <laughs> So once uh, once we start getting into the uh, the kickoff, I'll uh, switch our screens over to the to the ticker. Yeah. So sorry, some comments. 
Okay, Chapman, get home. Awesome. Listen, I mean, a lot of people are listening from work. Uh, I mean, like I said, I rushed home. I I start work at six so I can leave at two just so I can make it to do this stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm lucky enough now, and uh, I didn't always have I, – I just got a new position at work not too long ago that's allowing me to actually pull this off because otherwise, man – the sketchy things I was doing on the highways to try to catch the the game, catch the allegedly, game. <laughs> allegedly, 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 um, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I I definitely understand I understand the struggle. It is real. Uh, but here it is. This is this is the setup as we're looking at it now. <clears throat> I mean, it's a, a little messy. I got sort of the cords still flying around, but that's the command center. It's it's super dope. So, so I'll get rid of it. Get rid. Oh man, I'm messing up. Um. Yeah. So, I like it. It's all kind of custom. I am a bit of a computer nerd. If you haven't figured it out, right? Like, uh, <laughs> I built the computer myself and all that. That uh nonsense and i just i like to tinker i suppose um it's just a thing just a thing i like to do oh. the uh the dogs are also going to be cantankerous today because i typically walk them as soon as i get home and now they're just staring at me like bro what's going on what, what are you doing just sitting there <laughs> We've been locked up all day. <laughs> yeah. So you might hear some groans. Alrighty. So I have put up our live ticker brought to you in part by Live Score. This is the same thing that our buddy from Rabana TV uses as well. So this is what we'll be able to offer you guys as far as audio quality or video quality, just because, again, we can't really stream the game or any clips of it right now. So we'll have that up for you guys. And then again, just depending on how the delays work, we'll try to keep a poker face for you. Um, if the Millick man poker. steps in and oh, scores. Man. Why did Millick... I think of that song as soon as he said poker face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm uploading a short from Kevin right now as well. I don't know if you can check them both out at the same time, but uh, DV9 doing his free kick warm ups again. This seems to be one of his things. So I'm just getting that up onto YouTube right now. So uh, currently right now, guys, uh, live time, what's going on is the teams are walking out. Uh, we have, you know, the traditional Juve anthem going on. Oh, my God. Oh, shoot. Free the beep. Give, me one. Give me one yeah. second. I got to do the beep noise because I just the got beep. home. The beep. Guys, the beep. If you hear the beep, you have to let us know so Dash can turn it off. This is alarm system. And... I don't know. He's a mess. He never he never remembers to put it off. Okay, DB9 free kick. Awesome. All right, uploading. All right, number ten. We should be good to go on that. Okay, number ten did call you out. Excellent. Yep. Thank you. Hey, Thanks man. for uh, keeping us honest. You say, don't say I didn't love you guys. I just jumped out of my seat <laughs> on camera to go do that. Yep, it's an alarm system because I just came home and I forgot to uh, shut it off and tell it that I'm home. And uh, Marcus, I know you're listening. You, you refuse to chat in the, uh, the YouTube chat. But... Yes, I got, I got your WhatsApp message. <laughs> but this is my buddy Marcus. Uh, he's probably the main reason why I really got into football as much as I have, like really dove in, because I was traditionally very much a hockey guy, being Canadian. It's just you kind of grow up that way, right? Um, and I've always had that interest in soccer, football, what have you. But... Yeah, I, I kind of like really dove in really hardcore to the point, obviously, now that I'm doing this, like I, I <laughs> obviously got overboard at this point. All right. Um, so the sorry, the official lineups are just being released. So Deshilio, Danilo, Brummer and Quadrado on the back. And then you have Rabio Paredes, McKenney in the middle of the park and then Kostej, Vlahovic and Di Maria. So it is a 4-3-3 three, three lineup. So we were completely four, three, wrong. 3-3. Three. And it's, you know what? Every everyone was though because I saw four four two and three five two. I didn't actually yep. see a four three three called yet. Well, the four three three is technically the natural counter to the three five two. So I think Macab's yeah. uh, 
their starting lineups about to get pulled in. And I do apologize if I do interrupt or start chiming in randomly. It's just given yeah, some yeah, commentary on certain things. certain other I mean, thing. I know. I'm sorry. I'm like I'm almost just unloading now because I just got home from work and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you I'm giving you my end, end of days issues here. It's ridiculous. I'll I'll try to shut up here. So right now, Quadrado is wearing the captain's armband. He is uh, doing the the old uh, banner swap. At least it's not copies of FIFA. I don't think Macab's even in FIFA. So no, I was gonna do that. I was gonna try to stream uh, UV Macab, and they, yeah, don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so with Macab, they're running Cornud, Goldberg, Batu, Babubinska, Sek, uh, Sundergren. And then they're running Ambufadi, Sherry, Mohamed, and Piera, and Chibota in a 5 3 2. Instead of a 3 5 2, it is a 5 3 2. And we actually called that last night, me and Alex, uh, Death Culture Boy, if you haven't seen it. Yeah, we called that that might actually be a 5 3 2. So, bam, nailed it. All right, and then so the teams are taking a moment of silence to honor the victims at the Kanjuron Stadium in Indonesia. Um, Rabona TV made a really good video on that, guys, if you want to check that out. Yep, yeah, I think it re that. released on the weekend. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm so far behind. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Marcus. Yes, he's got both windows up. He's got the, the zone streaming and streaming me as well. So thank you. Like like I said, he's the guy that made me go uh, over the line, overboard. <laughs> For <laughs> sure. Yeah. Barcelona fan. Uh, so he's actually not a UV fan. And I'll uh, quick admittance here too, because I mean everything's on the table. I did a stopover in Barcelona. Didn't get outside of the airport, but they had a Barcelona store. Okay, we're we're kick off. Yeah, we're right. off. Anyways, yeah, I got a really going. sweet. My favorite hat is actually Barcelona hat. They're the Nikes, man. Ah, uh, I wish they had a UV version of it. But anyways, back to the game. Uh, already, Quadrado's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So I think the zone has like maybe 15, 20 seconds ahead of Paramount. Interesting. Okay, and then your what you're taking is actually ahead of us. So I'm at 32 seconds. Okay, cool. What are you? So uh, I am at 20 seconds right now, live on my thing. Uh, so yeah, I think cool. The ticker's actually ahead. I mean, hey, the ticker. I'm I'm cool with the ticker because if it's ahead of us, that means you don't you know we don't go and say, oh my god, this is awesome, and then everyone's like, <laughs> what happened? What's going on? Yeah, this might turn into a mess especially when there's more than one person like yeah not even the same streaming service right so yeah because i'm using the uh, the murica one miracle is that what they call murica. it oh murica. the murica one the murica yes of course paramount i think they do offer paramount in canada now but i don't believe they're doing the soccer it's just the other all the other stuff I'm kind of curious. I'm going to try signing in on my phone on Paramount Plus and see how off it is on my phone versus on my uh, computer. I found, too, the phone it can be quicker. At least Fubo. But Fubo Fubo's a complete mess. So, yeah, that that's uh, something I deal with. I, I'm sure we all deal with it to some extent. But to watch Champions League... And I, you, I get the NFL and some other stuff, whatever, sure. Uh, but I need the zone, and for all the league matches, I need Fubo. So it's like three hundred and twenty bucks total. I have to pay to watch <laughs> to watch soccer for a season. Yeah, it's interesting. So my phone is like seven seconds ahead of my computer stream. See, it's so weird. It is, and you'd think there'd be more of a delay over a cell network than. You know, actual hardline internet. But oh, we had the R R I P, and I'm sorry, I don't even know how to pronounce it. The city there in Indonesia. Oh well, 
They threw something forward. So I mean, that means McCobb still has the ball. I mean, it's it's what's expected. McCobb's just sitting back, preying on our downfall. Yeah, I, I suspect them to probe a couple mistakes, which we will invariably do. Yeah, I mean, and the thing is, is it more so looks like it's kind of similar to how Bologna is playing because McCobb doesn't really have any ideas based off of what I'm seeing right now in the first opening minutes. Yeah. I love, though, uh, yesterday, sorry, that photo that you showed of them lining up defensively. And mm -hmm. me and Alex were like, okay, so what's going on here? Like, what what are they trying to accomplish? Because they were just a complete mess. They were trying to double mark everyone. But yeah, that was just funny. But And then it's also like, for example, the goal they scored against PSG. Like, PSG is just terrible in the air. So, I mean, that ball was just a lofted ball through the middle. And that's how they got it. I, I don't see our center backs making that kind of mistake, but it's just PSG's just air defense is absolutely symbolic. Yeah, they don't have a great defense. And it's not that the guys that they have are necessarily bad. I think it's just their style overall. I mean, they're an attacking team. And all, when you have those three guys as forwards, <laughs> you play on those strengths. Uh, and you play that high line, yeah, you're gonna get, you're gonna get some sloppy play. And I I think I would assume anyways mentally that the defenders are just like, man, these guys are gonna score so many. Um, whatever, if I let one go. Go. Ra Rabio throwing his body around, making a count. Oh, wow. Okay. That was uh, the goalie was just kicking it. Just straight out, just straight out of bounds. It was a free kick. It just it was really bad of him. Just give up possession. There like we that. go. Or goal kick, sorry, I think said free kick. Ooh. Di Maria playing it up. Uh, how's the game? Are we pushing or more cautious? Well, Di Maria just hit the ground. Uh, we are probing. Oh, man. He didn't even get hit. He just went down. Yeah, so Maccabi's playing 5 deep. 5-3-2. Five, yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying to push number 10, but it's just kind of tough to push right now because Macab is just overloading the defensive side of their defensive side of the field. Di Marie is currently getting the magic spray. It just looked like he came down hard. Coming off the wing. Yeah, he was just hitting the ball off of Ollie and he just collapsed. Looks like looks like his calf. It's not looking good. I mean, Di Maria has known to overreact. It was in the box, so he was trying to draw a foul. I, I mean, he's known to do that, like the theatrics, right? So, yeah, he's kind of running down the sidelines, all right. But we are playing. No, okay, we're back to eleven men. Every time I hear Goldberg now, I'm just going to think of that. Uh, the wrestler. Man no, the Manchester uh, podcaster, Manchester United. Okay. Oh, what's his name? He, like, loses his mind during the games. He's really popular. He was one of the coaches of that YouTube All-Stars versus Sidemen Street stream a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, what's it? I can't remember. Uh. If Marcus is listening, he's the one that always talks about him. 
He watches him. He's not even a United fan. He's just like watching this dude. Here we go. Watch. Goldbridge. Goldbridge. My bad. Yeah. Close enough. <laughs> Goldbridge, not Goldbridge. The gold standard. Okay. I don't know if anybody else in the chat had. Mark, there you go. Number 10. Number 10. Uh, that was what I'm talking about. I butchered it, of course. Oh, uh, another probe. Nothing. Uh, the goalie ended up coming up ahead, catching it. Fall over the top. Good ideas. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's a good thing, though. It's a good idea what we're doing is we're going in over the top right now just because it, it's kind of what PSG did in retrospect to beat these guys. Same. Benfica, so the Benfica game is a little bit tough because, man, that was like an amazing shot off of Grinaldo for the second oh, goal that he scored on him. And even that, the first goal was just Grimaldo ripping one from distance and it just uh, being a tap-in. Um, I think PSG probably demonstrates it a little bit better, per se, where they kind of um, attacked him with the space that they left. But again, that was they were in Israel, in Tel Aviv, versus being away. And again, they've they've held it honest right now. Makab's just honestly been sitting back and just, just seeing how Juventus go. Uh, I think it's probably going to be a through ball or a long ball. Or not a long ball, but a uh, ball up the top that might be able to unravel these guys. Well, they're on the attack now. Looking dangerous. Oh, there's an error by Quadrado right there. He just let himself get nutmegged. Yeah. And Bremer. Bremer's the one that finally contained. There you go. All right, cool. So the attack didn't end up doing anything, so a goal kick for uh, good old Chesney. We're in the orange. The pumpkin suit, it's October. <laughs> I don't know, something about Juventus orange is just somewhat off-putting, I find. And then if anyone wants to know any other Champions League results, uh, Milan and Chelsea are at 0-0. Zero, zero. Man City has scored, and it's Holland that scored oh, again. Oh, man, that guy is on fire. Yeah. He has a cheat code at this point. So Holland's got a goal against Copenhagen. I expect him to score another three more. Ooh, close shot by Vlahovic, just saved by the keeper. Yeah. Very close shot. Could maybe. I mean, it was good accuracy, but obviously he needs to put a little more mustard on her. But corner, it looks like uh, Paradez. Is... Yeah, Paradez is taking it. Hmm. And it amounted to nothing. Yeah, I think at this point, it's uh, just over 10 minutes in the game. I think they're just, they're, they're feeling it out. They're probing. They got a couple shots on target now. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and go on Twitter and say, same old Juve uh, after 10 minutes in this game. I, I, you still need a little bit more time before. I wouldn't even say it's same old Juve because they actually have shots on that. Yeah, that's that's the other thing too. Yes, okay, it's Maccabi, but still. Can only beat what's in front of you. Still gotta play the match and you know, we saw what happened to Monza for instance, so Monza though, oh, man. Are they gonna stay up this year? I don't think so. Maybe. I think Depend. we'll... oh. depends on on form wise. Sorry, wait for it. Bones, my phone hates me for putting me through two streams. <laughs> <laughs> that it would, yeah. Uh, I, my, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got to take a breath after that one. Uh, <laughs> It should have went in. It's Vlahovic not being clinical once again, not finishing it when, quite honestly, he had a wide open net to finish. So it was good interplay, uh, good team effort playing it up the pitch, passing it back and forth between the lines, finding lots of space. I bet you Milik would have put it in. Uh, I thought Milik was going to rip it. 
but uh, I think it was him that made the final pass. It was it was almost like a FIFA move where it's just like through passes through the defense, like the whole stack. And then Flahovic got the breakaway and cut it wide. Like no pressure. But I mean, maybe some jitters is still early. Like I, I was just saying they're trying to settle into it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're Man City where we can just score whenever we feel like it. We can just buy a Holland and cheat mode it, yeah. I mean, oh, that was... Yeah, that uh, Quadrado is making mistakes. He, uh... Can see the I, he just, yeah, he just didn't need to do that. It's He lost the initial ball, so he comes in sliding in from behind. Did he not get a yellow for that? No, he. It wasn't really like I don't know. It wasn't really like considered to be a dangerous attack. He just stuck his leg out. Like it, it's just weird. He had a really weird slide tackle. Yeah, uh, like, it's it like sloppy, he doesn't. Though. Oh man. And it was pretty quick, right outside the box. So uh, that's that's the funny thing about it is is like right now all the chances Macab has had has been off of Quadrado errors. Yeah. The, the two of them, yeah. So right now it looks like uh, free kick's going. According to our ticker over here, that they're saying that a corner has been conceded by us, so Macab does have a corner. Off a of deflection, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So deflected out. They're questioning who took the final touch. I believe is that, I think or if so. it's a handball. Oh, that is a hundred percent not a handball. Yeah, I mean, it was McKenny, I believe, and the arms were tucked like they were tight. Short corner. <laughs> Not the same UV, but the same quad. Yeah. It's uh, right up there. <laughs> so right now, I think, given my, my my analysis of this, is it's more so UV feeling it, feeling out macabre, macabre kind of kind of being a little bit more adventurous per se. Um well, they know that if they have a chance, they have to take it because, yeah. I mean, that that's their setup. They can and, only take those mistakes or counters. And Allegri just standing on the sideline, biting his fingers like always. So Yeah, kind of like what I'm doing. Yeah. Say it's another day in the office for uh, Allegri right there. But uh, outside of the Quadrado errors, I haven't seen Macab truly start breaking us down to the point where I'm a little bit concerned. Um offensively outside of the Vlahovic miss uh it was not really not really much because it's again it's tough guys when you're when you're only three players and you're trying to dribble through a back five it, it gets really difficult so that's the only time where you have to start trusting your players to win battles in the air uh usually because when you're going up through five it's kind of hard to find space between five players as three wide players because essentially, in theory, that's almost uh, two defenders for every attacker. Even so, though, like he was in the clear. And I get like it was at the end of a long string of plays. But this is a conversation that Farhad and Alberto had on the podcast. Uh, so that was Alberto from uh, All Juve Cast was on. Uh, and they discussed that, like the difference between Holland and Vlahovic. And that like Ho Holland makes those finishes. And yeah. he used... Uh, that that example from the last game there against Bologna could have it should have been four nothing really, but Flavic put it wide again. So it looks like we're starting to press a little bit and we're starting to win the ball in Macab's half. Uh, right now, Di Maria is working with Quadrado on the right wing. Uh, good pass in, read out by Macab. It looks like we have a uh, corner and I think we're about twenty seconds behind. Of uh, behind the fat mob stream, D 
Di Maria corner kick right to the side of the net. <laughs> he was trying to go for sauce. <laughs> there was no sauce on it, though. I know. It was just that a was... floater into this. That was bad. That was terrible. I'm sorry. That, that cannot happen. It's like, oh my goodness, you're a pro and you do that? What a bum. <laughs> He was trying to replicate the uh, the Allegri one, getting it in from the corner in practice. Yeah. Uh, it's Maybe it's Maccabi who's probing us for the return leg. Maybe. I'm sure they're doing that too. I'm sure. I mean, there's pretty much zero history with these teams, right? So they know nothing other than whatever footage there is. To be fair, there's a lot more footage for Juventus, clearly, right? Than trying to find anything on Maccabi. Or Maccabi. Yep. So just a scoring update. It is still 0-0 with Benfica and PSG. They are still at 0-0. All right, our midfield doing something, passing around decently. Thanks for everyone. Uh, popping in here for the stream uh first our first live going at it like this um and coming in hot too just like coming home plopping my ass down in front of the screen uh so thanks for making out uh please like and subscribe if you have not already otherwise uh i'll shut up and we'll call some more game So yeah, Rebio with a good defensive challenge over there on Macab's attack. So Rebio yeah, he's looks... doing well defensively. Yeah, I mean, I think that's all he's really doing per se is he's just being that defensive uh, centerpiece. Yeah, where um, he, he he's just goes in. All right. I mean, he's, yeah, he's doing okay. He's not doing eight million a season. Okay. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna call it as it is. He's doing all right. Don't have to have the discussion right now if he's worth it, but I totally just wanted to mess with you. Oh, number 10 saying thanks for the live, really. Uh yeah, I apparently you guys want it. So just do it. I, I wasn't originally gonna do it. It's like, ah, is this the thing that people actually like? And yeah, you know, like, yeah. So. The funny the funny thing about this was I think Dave and I were talking Monday and we're just like, how's our schedule look for the game? And he's like, Well, I mean him and I are both kind of cutting it close from work and we're just like, eh, fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Like this was the first time I came into the studio, they call it the software or whatever, uh, looking at the time and being like, well, I'm 30 seconds late and Dash was already here waiting. I'm like, Dash, we're hitting live. And that was it. Like we didn't say anything. Just Bam, let's go. <laughs> hey, so folks on the YouTube, how's the uh, the Fop Mob ticker? Do you guys like it? Is it annoying? Um, is it loading? Is it lagging? Just give me some feedback on it because it looks like it's flowing smooth on my end, but I don't know on the YouTube end. Yes, the, the mysterious beast of YouTube. You can, as soon as you figure it out, it just changes its ways. Now, well, you know, the funny thing is, is like I switched over because I turn off because we're streaming and like also doing this. So like I was trying to watch the game on my computer and it started lagging. So I'm like, all right, switch to my phone. So bones feel I just feel like we gave Ray Rabio enough chances. So I don't know if he's doing I, <laughs> I <laughs> like he made sure it's I, uh, I'd rather see him good. Go. Sorry, I read the number 10 message as I finished that. Looks good. So I said good when I said should have said go. Um man, who who's letting me talk? <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, Bones. Obviously we gave him so many chances, but I mean I'm looking at it at a very just right now situation on the pitch as as we're looking at it. All right, so uh, Milan Chelsea is still 0 0. Uh, Real Madrid has scored against Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, City still leading by that one goal. Dortmund have scored a goal. Uh, PSG, newsflash, PSG has just scored. It is Messi in the 22nd minion. 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 <laughs> Who let you talk? <laughs> minute, I know. Assist from Neymar. Of 
course. I mean, sure. did you expect? I mean, you would have had one other option of a name to be on that score sheet. That's true. So right now, how is it? How the group is standing is PSG is at nine, Benfica at six, Juve at one, Maccab at one. That, that, that'll change. At least the the last two names there. So six points gets us back in the conversation, which we need from both of the Maccabis, and then we need to beat Benfica, and then get a result against PSG to really. So it's. it's doable. I don't want to. Yeah, it's doable. I don't want to say we have to run the table, but. No, but I mean we've done this before, uh, and I think we need to finish second in the table because first in the table always gives us bad juju. Yeah, just the easy teams that we can't beat. We don't play well against the easy teams. It's so weird. It's the, again, the mental thing. So right now, uh, there's a sideline cut to Allegri, just doing the calma, calma to everybody, telling everyone to relax, chill. Yeah. Uh, McCobb, McCobb does have possession in our half right now. Uh, looks like they're passing it around. There's not really much penetration-wise that McCobb is trying to do. Um, it looks like they're just trying to draw Juve out of position and then attack the space that's opened. Uh, but it looks like Juve is doing a pretty decent job of containing everything. Yeah, they're not really letting them get through, per se, except when Quadrado touches it. Yeah, Macabre does not really look that threatening as of right now. And uh, another news flash: Chelsea have scored against AC Milan. So that's uh, one nothing one, right now? Yep, one nothing Chelsea. Was that North London or is that Tottenham? Uh, was it, it was Chelsea. Which part of London? <laughs> yeah, South, I don't know. South London. Which London are we talking about? Oh, man. I can't I get know. them straight. Oh, no. It's, it's Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> you play against easy teams. Nah, too easy. We got to make this a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's us against every team in the knockout stages. Like, we were like, hey, let's spot Atletico two goals and then come back the next game. Uh, or, hey, let's wasn't spot it three. We spotted Madrid three. I thought we Atleti, we, it was three. No, no, no. We, or was, uh, was it only two? They won 2 0, and then we won 3 nothing. The Ronaldo hat trick. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. For some reason, I thought it was uh, went on in a ways goal thing. I couldn't remember. That's when I was, I think I told that story on uh, BZ once. I was driving through Newfoundland in like a really remote part, and I was only getting signal like once every 15 minutes and getting updates. And just every so often, I would see Ronaldo come up, and then Ronaldo, and then Ronaldo. And I was still losing my mind in the car. My wife was driving at this point, because it's her this is her home road. It's where she's from. Um, so she's, I mean, let her do. It's her home. And I was just there staring at my phone, just like waiting for an update. And just, Ronaldo, I'm like, is this actually happening? And I couldn't, Gosh. I completely missed it. But I remember man, I watching, still... I remember watching that game too. It was nuts. Ooh, Quadrado took a nasty knock on on his uh his side, his oblique. And Goldberg's down too. He's got some crazy tattoos on his thigh. I know Goldberg hit him with a WWE move. I imagine. I I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. The Israeli league must be somewhat physical, I would imagine. Usually it is. So, like, uh, the Asian leagues, because uh, technically they're considered, well, European, Asia, around that thing. But, like, usually a lot of the a lot of the AFC uh, teams, um, Asian Champions League, for those that don't know, really physical. Same thing with the, the Combo Bowl or the South American teams. Very, very physical. And their challenges, their tackles. They're, they're very aggressive, where UEFA teams are more so on the, uh, I don't want to say on the, for a lack of a better term, but like the classier side where they're not all about, you know, going into it, unless you're like the 80s or 90s Italian defenses of back in the day where <laughs> they're going for your, they're going for everything. But yeah. Just watch the old tape of, uh, of Maradona and what they would do to him because they couldn't catch him. So they would just take his ankles out. And he took, he would just take more cocaine and keep at, keep after it essentially. That's his secret. That's why I didn't feel any pain. Yeah. Man, what a character! And the rise yeah. and fall. It's a crazy story. There's a few documentaries out. They they released one, I think, twenty twenty. 
It was during the Pandy it came out. It was really good. Yeah, so obviously we're trailing off. It's more kind of kicking the ball around, losing it, doing it all over again. Yeah, I would like to call this uh this is the definition of pickup game uh footy right here. Yeah, it's like or, Sunday league we're watching essentially. Yeah, minus minus the beers. Yeah, I mean I could grab a beer. Still got yeah. that sandwich staring at me. <laughs> Brazil against Argentina, 82 World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. I mean oh, that man, was that insane. would be nice to get some tape. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure YouTube has that. Pull that up. Well, and then it's like also add the fact that like the Brazil Argentina rivalry back then was like like pure fire and gasoline. Yeah. So it's like, oh man, you could just imagine some I mean, some of that slide tackles back then that were legal were just pure insanity. Oh yeah, I know. You barely see a slide tackle these days. Yeah, and then that's kind of going off of bones where he's saying, Do you guys feel that uh he said, uh, do you feel that some of these calls are soft too? Uh, yeah, no, I do. I do it think. Be, yeah. uh, well, especially in Europe, right? Again, you watch other leagues and it's not as blatant. So, yeah, you know what's funny, Bones, is because so I was, so I play in a Sunday, Sunday league and I was playing Sunday and uh, some guy was, so I was shielding the ball as it was rolling out uh, oh, at our touchline. We got a Haifa fan in here. We got to give oh, him a shout awesome. out. Nice. Welcome. And if you want to tell me how to pronounce your name, too, I'll, I'll pronounce it for you. But I don't want to butcher it. Sorry, Dash. No, you're good. So it's funny because uh, I was actually shielding the ball, and I had my hands and my legs spread out wide, and uh, the ball was rolling out of the touchline, and the guy was, like, yelling at the ref to call a foul on me for uh, obstruction. And I was like, I'm like, seriously? He's like, yeah, his hands were pushing me off away from the ball. I was like, I had my hands out wide. I boxed you out. I'm like, if you got a problem, you should hit the gym and start pumping some weights. It's like, are you serious? Because, you know, and it's it's funny because, like, I, my play style as a player is, like, I love to get physical, but I don't like to slide tackle. Yeah, I mean, you try try not to. It's yeah, never a good habit, I suppose, <laughs> to really develop. Yeah, I mean, granted, we're not pros, so I'm sure pros have a different mindset on sliding. Plus, they know how to slide properly, but, like. Yeah, there's that. Uh, all right, so Michael's asking, ciao, guys, unable to see the match. How are we playing? Uh, Michael, so to be honest with you, there isn't really much of a buildup. It's kind of tough because Hafia is playing with a lot of players in the back uh, more so than anything. So it's just more or less of us kind of lobbing the ball in to see if anything really sticks right now. Because uh, usually the thing is right now in the box, for every one Juventus player, there's two uh, Macabre players waiting for him. So it's a little bit tough, so... More so, it looks like Juve is just pressing to see if they can force an error on one of their defenders and capitalize in any open space. Um, and our, our Maccabi Haifa fan is predicting 2-0 for Haifa. So, I mean... Okay. Cool. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I mean, personally, I kind of expected what's going on. It is an ugly game per se, just because yeah. a lot of the setups and the and the builds. Because Macab isn't really trying to impose too much. Like they have possession, but it's not like meaningful possession. Because like the moment that they try to penetrate, there's a Juve player that's essentially there to knock the ball away. Um, the thing right now, I think what Juve is trying to do is Juventus is trying to sit a little bit back to try to build a false sense of confidence in Macab so they can draw players out of position and hit them with a quick counterattack. But the problem is, is you're giving the ball to Cuadrado or yeah, Rabio who can't facilitate quick counterattacks. Cuadrado's crossed to Deshilio too. Deshilio had to run back to catch it. Because the thing is, is... <sighs> If I'm Allegri, I'm telling Juventus to start their counters through Paredes. Because well, if you're moving... I mean, it, really? Should it yeah, not be the midfielder? It should be, but I don't know why Cuadrado is the first person to receive the ball. And Cuadrado... Him being a defensive... Him as a right-back just bothers me. Because like the thing is, is 
he's pinched up next to the center back, and there was a winger on Macab that was wide open uh, over Cuadrado's back shoulder, and he probably had no idea he was there. Uh, number 10 was saying that Rabona said that it was also tough for Benfica. And it was. It took Benfica quite a while for them to break down. I think it was almost around the 90th. It was pretty late, and I can't, can't remember now. But, yeah, it did take them a while regardless. Yeah, more just like throwing the spaghetti at the wall. Bad transition from defense to attack. Yeah, it is right now. Um, the thing is, is again, when we're beating these low defensive teams, uh, you got to be fast, man, especially when you draw six of their players on your side of the pitch. You got to move that sucker quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just, just not very quick tonight. Yeah, I just I don't see Cuadrado being that player that can shift something very fast over. So I think there's got to be a different adjustment in who's sending out the out ball which is I'm a little bit surprised how Cuadrado has seen the ball more than Parade is right now. That to me is kind of concerning. Like I get it. If the, if the Shilio doesn't really build much from the back or see any plays, I get that. I'm not concerned there, but my thing is, is why isn't Parade facilitating the ball or it's Cuadrado? Speaking Again, of Paredes. Cuadrado, another defensive mistake, giving too much space to their winger and he has to wait for, but look Looks, at what Paredes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Paredes deep in the box, essentially playing as a center back at this point because, yeah. I mean, quadrado mistake, whatever. So they have the ball. He slid across to try to stop it. The guy held out, and then he on still... the ground, he just, like, arched his back like a camel and deflected it. He's like, no, I will get this ball. Well, here's the crazy thing about it is he literally told, because that was the guy that Cuadrado was marking and was supposed to mark, and Paredes literally just told him, get out of my way. Cuadrado just, oh, oh. He saved it. Our number one man, I'm sorry, you'll catch up. I know, I gotcha. But this is amazing. I gotta keep everyone <laughs> suspense. Do you want to call right, it? everybody. Uh, I think we'll call it, huh? <laughs> it is a goal. From Rabiot TV, not Rabona TV, no. But hey. uh, Weston, Weston, uh, remember? Weston looks like Rabio. Yeah, Weston. This is uh, for him. This is for you, buddy. <laughs> but here, here's the irony of it is, everybody, that's a screamer from Rabio. So he Rabiot, does that once a year, I'm telling you. Once a year. I remember anger. two years ago, I was actually, uh, all Juve cast was doing a watch along and I was doing it with them. It was one of the first watch alongs that we ever did. And Rabio did that, but like from 20, 25 yards. And I was just like, what just happened? That's like I, I, I was like beyond, beyond myself that he did that. And he just did it again. That's so, a like, There's a beautiful shot. It hit it roof of the net. Matt stat looks good. One goal in two matches. Yeah, number 10, it is Rabiot. No, it's Rabiot 100%. Like, it's check it. You can fact check us. It's he 100% just Rabiot. He just shot a laser beam into the roof of the net. Even Allegri's looking at it like, I can't believe what just happened. <laughs> he really wants an extension. There's, there's the cynic, right? <laughs> it's got to be something. <laughs> and Di Maria, brilliant. Was he the one that... Uh, yes. Sorry, I was. I didn't even pay attention. I got to rewatch it. Cause... Di Maria uh, slotted it through for him. Okay, there it was. Nice. Yeah, Bone saying, yeah, I remember him doing it, but it makes me mad because he does it. Then it seems like he clocks out for the rest of the season. I know. I know it does. But like well, I yeah. said, I'm I'm calling it as it is right now for this match. Like all the other – like it's match day. The, the politics, the other bullshit doesn't matter right now. Yeah, as I said, you guys do not see it. Uh, Allegri's about to sub off Rabio. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if uh, Veronique is in the stands cheering on tonight. She probably told him, you need to do this for an extension, my baby boy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, okay. Wee oui, wee, oui, mama. I wonder if she does his ponytail for him in the morning. She probably does. <laughs> and we just go on to trashing him immediately after he's yeah, no, Just say, hey, put a, put a one in the chat if uh, you guys think Verani, uh, Veronica Rebio does his ponytail every day. 
Well, more just interplay, kind of between defense and midfield right now. Yep. Well, now you think that Macab has to try to push up, which allows you to find something on the counter. But okay, so I've noticed this too because you showed it. Uh, I guess I showed it for you in the pictures last night. How there's like the back seven dudes, and then just three guys kind of hanging out, not doing anything, waiting for yep. something. Oh, Di Maria with another steal. And number 10, good point as well. It's strange, though, because he started the season so well, and like before, when he gets fired up from March on. So, yes, usually it's a lot later on when he fires up, uh, whereas he has had a pretty decent season. But he's also been injured this season, which is an outlier as well. I think he's trying to look good for the World Cup. I think that's why he's kind of kicked it up a notch. There's also that. Yeah, that's that's my hot take, is I think he's trying to do a... Uh... Is he fighting for a starting eleven spot? Oh, absolutely. Because who, who else? Who else have we got? Because you would have you'd have Conte, uh, you'd have Kamivanga, you'd have uh, Kamavinga. Sure. Yeah, they're so young though. Do, do they start for France at this point? I mean, they're good. Why not? They are good, but they are. I mean, there's a lot of hype behind them too, right? Oh, absolutely. Because the thing is, is like, because Pogba's technically out, Matuidi's technically retired. Well, so, Pogba, uh, Pogba might actually make it because they're saying he's supposed to be coming in at the end of October, early November. So he might make the World Cup. Oh, maybe. Uh, number 10 asking, are we uh, going for the second or sitting? Uh, uh, right now, it's kind of symbolic. I think they're just playing in for halftime. Uh, there was a couple instances where it looked like, ooh, that was a bad pass by uh, Rabio. See, there you go. I, I think you called them playing for halftime. There's, I mean, just about five minutes. But, uh, I yeah. mean, when we start trailing off, it's because the game starts trailing off into, uh, like, that pass, pass, lose it, pass, pass, lose it. Uh, that's what a lot of this game has been for both teams. Uh, they're just kind of giving up possession. But corner now for Maccabi. Going short. Thrown away. <laughs> Bowen saying he's clocking out. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I got my one banger for the season. I made the World Cup team. Yeah. See you later, Juventus. Deuces. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, number 10 saying, sorry, it's you, baby. Can't, cannot tell. Uh, yeah. what, what, what aren't we telling? Uh, I think I think it's us, whether or not we're pushing for a second or not. Oh, we, yeah. We just never know. Uh, sometimes, yeah. It just kind of comes out of nowhere when it does happen. Again, like, they're... Pushing the ball up eventually, making something happen. Oftentimes, it does amount to nothing. Bad pass. Bad bombs, bombs, that's, whatever. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the difference is is it's not like Juve is just like, okay, Macab, just here. It's not like how it was with Benfica. No, there's no threat. Even though we're giving up the ball in sometimes dangerous areas, it's not really threat. Yeah, it's not not threatening at all. Now, of course, you know, one little tip in or anything could happen, right? So you can still definitely argue that they should not be allowing that to happen. But they, they're falling back into the typical Juve. Like, not the Bologna version of them that I saw last, or just a few days ago now. Yeah, what it looks like, it looks like Juve is kind of just containing it until halftime, just keeping how things are. Um, Macab's just having an issue really getting in the half, per se, getting into Juventus's half, because we are actually employing a press on them. Uh, yeah, they're I, forcing I, Macab just to make turnovers at this point. I think some of the game plan, perhaps, I, I don't know. This is me trying to rationalize what you see, uh, as you got your big slurp going again. Um, <laughs> I know, and I, was, I smashed half my sandwich. Sure, I was getting... Yeah, I was getting lightheaded. I had to put something in my body, but uh, what the hell is going on? 
these guys. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because the game just started again. Um, what the hell, man? Your your damn ice distracted me. <laughs> I got you. I got ice in my veins, mate. Ice in your veins. Oh, uh, Rabios, uh, he's looking for space. He might be hungry for another. Oh. Okay, so there are some gas moments here, which is a boss of indication because. Oh, come on, Vlahovic. <sighs> yeah. Big deflection. That was Distilio. Deflected off the defender. Went to the far post. And uh, was it Vlahovic there that. Yep. I mean. Holland would have made it. <laughs> yeah, I, he probably would have. <laughs> Milik would have did it. Perhaps. I mean, that's who we're missing, right? We just need the Oh, Milik. he's just taken down in the box. Nothing. There was nothing there. That was Di Maria sliding into the box on his knees. Di Maria's like, oh, no, his error, his aura tripped me. I want a penalty. <laughs> it's kind of like Yeah, I, I mean, saying. like he touched their arms or legs, whatever. There was... Nothing. Nothing in that. And that's something you don't see every day. Rabio up on the score sheet. They're just showing the score right now. 35 minutes. We're now in the 45th minute. Got nothing really inspiring out of Macabre. That top knot is pretty inspiring. Yeah. Oh, it's their number 10. So it's got to have some flair. Di Maria trying to track back, but getting frustrated that he missed. I don't know why. And uh, yeah, it's just no finish at all on these Maccabi guys right now. Nope. I mean, they, they throw the ball. They they make a play. Like, they get it to the box, to that striking position, but just nothing. Absolutely nothing at that Yeah, point. it's more so, again. Uh, I just don't think they have what it takes to break down. Benfica equalized. Good for them. Yeah, good for them. It's better. Seven points apiece. That actually is beneficial for us. Oh, man. So that was another nice, uh, I'm going to say Kostic. I'm just getting the replay here. See, that's my no, thing that's with, like, man, Vlahovic is so out of position. It drives me insane where it's like, dude, like this action right here, this cross by Dechilio, perfect. Yeah. But just Vlahovic is just lacking. I just, that's my things that I have an issue with Dusan is like, he's yeah, hiding. He's flat-footed. He's flat footed and then like positioning wise is he's he's standing behind the center back. You need to cut in front of him. Like that to me just drives me insane because it's like that's that's easily 2-0 right there. Like the fact that like ah, I wish I could show you guys this clip. I should have just took a snip of it and just showed you, but like There's Vlahovic. The half. Yeah. Sorry, go on your rant. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. Like it's just Vlahovic again, man, just lacking. Like, I'm telling you, Milik, Milik would have finished that. But so far, not too bad, according to the stats. Um, two shots on target to Macabre's one. I, I wouldn't even think Macabre had an actual shot on target. 1-0 for us. Uh, Rabio with a belter. Even Macabre was yelling in that. Their defender's like, this guy scores? So, so far, decent half. I'm not going to sit here and be on the negative train and say, good, we played like crap. So, I made this call yesterday. And Rabio did just score. So, this, this is plausible. But I said, today is the day for Keane. He's going to come off the bench in like the 75th minute. And he's going to score against these guys. And the curse is going to be broken. 
Maybe he has to get it's put happening. in. Sorry? As I say, he has to at least get put in for some point. Well, they're going to want to rest. Probably Di Maria, because he's the old man. So they're going to, are they going to risk? Assuming, you know, we're in a good position. Say we're up to nothing, whatever. Would you not put Keenan instead I of would. throwing Milliken and whatever muscle strain he has? Just give him that. Rest. I would. Yeah, no. If, if we're up to nothing, I would throw in Keenan instead of Milik. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pose this to you and also to the folks in the chat. So I'm I'm looking through Juve Twitter right now. A couple folks that we know are saying. We're playing a sport, but it's not football. They're saying that we're playing boring and uninspiring football. Guys, we're playing against a team that sits five people in the back and three in the middle. I have a very good inkling of as to who they are. I know, but like the thing <laughs> is, it's like I'm sitting there like, how the hell are you going to play Tiki Taka when you have two center backs for every one offensive player you have? Like, of course that it's going to be slow and messy. Like... That that to me makes no sense. Like, I don't know that. Chat, you can you can chime in on this one. But like, if you're playing with three offensive players and you have five players in the back, like unless you're running Ronaldo in his prime, Messi in his prime, and Neymar in his prime, it's gonna be sloppy. Like, like, like it is a very sloppy game, and it is. It, it is uninspiring. There's, it is, or it is not. Uh. But yeah, I guess everything's in context. And that's what bothers me with a lot of the, the Twitter warriors, just people, you know, the people that like to yell instead of speak. They don't put things into context. So just remember that there's always context behind everything. Uh, so is it uninspiring football? Sure. Um, but are they playing against a team that's five, five across the back? I mean, really, it's like seven. So eight. <laughs> seven, eight, yeah. I mean it's gonna look it's it's gonna be trash. It's always trash when you got when you have a team that parks the bus. And people hate watching those games. It they're never good. They're just never good unless the team just somehow gets dismantled, right? And that's the thing. If if you defend so bad while you park the bus, then yeah, you can get ten scored against you. And then it's but, exciting. But usually it's like a one nothing. 2-1, whatever, it's boring game. Yeah, and, and you know, and the thing that kind of makes my gripe is, is like, people that make those comments haven't seen Macabre play before. This is how Macabre plays. It's how they played against PSG. They literally made PSG grind for that first goal, and then they were a little bit more open when PSG, can, or when they conceded to PSG, and then PSG was able to do not beautiful build-up play goals. They're just scrappy counter-attacking goals. Like, PSG didn't play beautiful against Macabre Hafia. Neither did Benfica. I mean, Benfica, and you can look at Rabona TV, said the same thing. It was a nitty-gritty game that mm -hmm. Grimaldo shot something into the middle of the box, ended up being off of Ramos, and went in. And even with Grimaldo's second goal that game, it's it's my thing is, is like, how are we, like, we're making the initiative. We're winning the ball in their half. We're winning – we're forcing challenges. We're pressing into their half. So that, to me, is the one thing that I noticed that I thought was, you know, decently well. Um, even in the spells when McCobb had the ball, uh, McCobb wasn't threatening at all. There wasn't like a, oh, crap, we're going to concede, or, oh, crap, they're really starting to break us down or expose certain areas. Like, outside of a couple errors, like, it wasn't like I'm sitting here like, dude, Cuadrado is getting cooked. Right. Yeah, he is. He would be the main talking point, honestly, on the negative side of the of the conversation is Quadrado. Yeah, and number ten brings it up perfectly. Right now, we should take the wins, and that's it. And I'm with you. That's that's a very uh, Allegri esque, <laughs> should I say? You know? It is. <laughs> Doesn't it, matter how we win, but you no, know, it's it is true. I agree. It is because you know, and I'm the same kind of guy. Like I can sit there and be like, "Hey, I won a game. It was ugly and crappy, but we still won it." So yeah. I, I, the, the one thing is, is I don't – I want to try to understand people's arguments when they say that they want to play – ooh, Moretti's in the chat. But, uh, dub. So, like, I want to be, like, one of those folks that, like, understands it. And I don't want to say, like, oh, man, so-and-so's ideas are stupid. But, like, 
we're winning 1-0. We're pushing, at least we're pushing for a second goal. It wasn't that we were sitting there. I think we should have had a second goal, but Vlahovic is just flat-footed on it. I, I don't, I don't, like... I don't get it. I mean, like, if we get three or four goals, and it's like uh, it's like Decaucho boy said. He's like, we won 3-0 against Bologna, but, like, a bunch of the Juve versus is going to still bitch and whine about it. I mean, again, you're entitled to your opinion, but I just, don't, I just don't get it. I mean, right now, we're just trying to get some wins. We're trying to get some momentum going. Once, once you start winning, once you start building some consistency, then you can start seeing the identity of your team. Because, like, if you're going through a losing streak or a rough patch, you're not going to have identity because that's why you're losing is because you don't have it. And it's not going to be us versus Bologna. You see us pressing and doing X, Y, and Z. Like you'll see gradual increases because right now we have a team that has shoddy confidence. So like Bologna helped build the confidence. And then if you win against Maccabre, you start building some more confidence and then you go into Milan and you get a result. Then you start seeing the identity because like when Milan first started going on their role, it was monkey soccer. It was pass the ball to lay out. And if it goes, it goes where it's like, now they have that intensity. They have that confidence to impose their game right now. We're, we're building from nothing. So it's like, how can we have identity? Of course, it's going to be uninspiring. It's going to be boring because the team's kind of in an identity crisis in a sense where right now get some wins, have them feel good about themselves so, like, that's the thing where I look at it. I'm like, and I'm not taking digs at Juve fans, but, like, a lot of these fans that came in were fans that came in in 2015, 2016, 2017. So it's like, I don't think they've experienced a point where, like, a team has been on a rough patch, per se. It's the same thing with the Barca fan boys when they came in during the Messi era. Wait, right, wait, sir, just just keep on this. I, I'm going to let the dogs out before they start. No, I got gotcha. you. I'll be back. Oh, I'll go on my monologue. <laughs> but like, even with like the Barcelona fan boys were after Messi left or even during the Messi banter years, I mean, they weren't used to Barcelona not being a top dog or having an identity when uh, they lost their confidence under Valverde and Koeman. Uh, same thing with Real Madrid before, uh, before they actually became the new Galacticos with Ronaldo. Cause uh, Manuel Pellegrini was their coach uh, before Mourinho came in, and they were a banter club. I think Mourinho helped put Madrid back on the map, and that's where they started getting that identity of being that hard-hitting, fast-paced team. So if anyone's in the chat that wants to sit there and say and can you know, bring up a valued counterargument, that's cool. Go for it. But I think, I think there's like points of being objective, and then there's points of just absolutely just bad-mouthing something just because – it's, you know, you think you can flip a switch and it's totally going to do that. I say if we win the next four, five, six games, then we can start seeing what kind of identity the team actually has, whether or not we're going in a certain direction. And yeah, number 10, you're right. I'm not even talking, I haven't even mentioned the dumpster fire that Man U is. So that's all, that's all I got to say on that. But again, uh, any of the folks that are jumping in, 1-0, Rabio scores a belter off his left foot. Decently paced game. These, it says Macab is leading us on shots, but again, shots are loosely taken, so it's anyone that just rips something at the box is considered a shot, whether it's challenging or not. And two shots on target, I honestly think we should have had more, but there was a couple of misses that Vlahovic made, especially um, at the end of the half with across that Vlahovic just read the anticipation of the pass very, very badly. Um, I think that's going to be my one negative is Vlahovic's lack of positioning skills. Guy's a great player, but God is his football IQ absolutely horrendous. Um, that's the difference between him and Holland right now is football IQ. Uh, it, it, it really is because – I'm just baffled the way that Vlahovic lines up on some of these plays sometimes where I'm like, dude, you read that so wrong. Um, so again, error by Vlahovic keeps it from being 2-0. Uh, overall, decent game. Di Maria had a really decent game as well where he was forcing some interceptions, uh, won the ball back in Maccabre's half. Uh, was the one that supplied the assist for Rabio. so good play from him. McKenney has been roughly quiet. Not really much, uh, done much, but again, there's not really been an opportunity for McKenny to make runs into the box. Uh, so that's just, that's the way that it is. 
Uh, Bremer, Benucci, quiet game, not really much for them to do. Uh, DeShilio, outside of that really good cross to Vlahovic at the end of the half, very quiet game. Macabre doesn't seem to be attacking off of DeShilio's end. Um, Quadrado, I would say, if I were to give my initial rating, my initial thoughts on Quadrado, fairly decent. Um, he had a couple of errors in the defensive side of the ball where I was a little bit concerned with, but... Uh, Paredes, um, a lot of folks that have been actually coming at Paredes, he made some great defensive stops, especially a save while on the ground. Uh, he was able to throw his back in front of a shot to deflect it out for a corner. So uh, Paredes has done, I think he's done decently well. I do think he needs to create a little bit more. Um, I'm kind of curious on what Allegri's subs, uh, halftime substitutions are. I would probably expect Allegri to do subs around the 65th to 70th minute if things stand the way that they do. Um, he may do something to push for the second goal earlier on in the second half so he can kind of coast the rest of the game. I'm not too sure. But what I'm expecting is he's going to launch everybody out, kind of keep the same thing going again. Uh, the game plan of what it seems like is they're going to try to draw Macabre a little bit out of position by having them attack, by uh, giving him a false sense of being able to get into the game. And then he'll probably do a quick counterattack to see if he can get that second goal. But again, scrappy game, just like we predicted yesterday in our pregame show. We weren't expecting anything beautiful, any high presses or anything like that, just because Maccabi isn't going to give you the uh, the space to even do something like that. They're just playing way too deep with too many players. So you just got to take your chances as you go. Uh, again, one of the reasons why I'm kind of ripping Vlahovic a new one a little bit. But uh, even with the post, uh, post-match post summary through Fat Mob, uh, though Maccabi uh, apparently set up to contain their opponents within the five-man defense, the first half offered up a handful of chances for both sides. As the visitors grew in confidence while well, Juventus became more frustrated. However, pressure was deezed on Allegri's men 10 minutes before the interval when Rabia was able to score. Given the weight of history against them, an Israeli team has never won away from home in the Champions League. Can Macab turn this around? I'm going to say no. No, but I'm biased. Not. But I'm biased. Yeah, you are. We all are. Let's be honest. So, unfortunately, our friend that popped in earlier that said 2-0 Maccabi, I think he meant to say 2-0 Juventus. So, uh, That's that... a lot more realistic uh, <laughs> or possible, really, at this time. Yeah. i got to say Rabio MVP so far, even before the goal. I don't disagree uh, with that. Yeah? I, I mean, don't. I, I'm not even going to say hot take on that. That's it's just, not a hot uh, take at all. Yeah. Uh, Thanks for the comment, Oscar. I do I do agree with him um, because there was a lot of defensive challenges that Rabio was able to win, use his body. I'm telling you, either he's playing for a contract or he's playing for a spot of the World Cup. It's one of the two. But yeah. or both, honestly. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a drink. I'll be right back. Absolutely. So it's my turn to carry on a conversation to nobody. All right. <laughs> awesome. Uh so it does look like, yeah, the intermission is pretty much over. Uh, getting the lineups going. Uh, let me just see if there's any changes here that I can report on. Yes, um, Alexandro is in for Mattia Decilio. So, interesting. I didn't think Decilio was that bad, to be honest. I, yeah, weird, because, I mean, Sandro can definitely use the rest. Shilio did have a really nice cross into the box earlier as well, uh, towards Vlahovic. So interesting. Yeah, we're about to kick off otherwise. All right, anytime, boys. Let's get after it. There we go. Okay, finally have kickoff. Uh, so it is Maccabi with the ball first off this half. And it's already out. So they turned it over pretty easily already. Throw in just about center. Terrible first half, disjoint in my opinion, from KB. <sighs> yeah, it was, but we touched on that, trying to break down the five at the back, which is more like a seven or eight at the back. There's definitely room for improvement. I mean, make those passes a little more crisp, put a little more hustle onto the ball, get Vlahovic to 
yeah, just a little more energy, perhaps. Just more on his toes, ready to get after it. Yeah, exactly, KB. Vlavich needs to do better. And number 10, asking how the dogs are doing. Uh, they're all right, thanks for asking. Uh, they're always pretty good. They're, yeah, I have. Yeah, the two of them behind me. The the other one, she's too old to get down the stairs, so she, she waits right, right at the top of the stairs because she's a sweetheart. KB's at work again, of course. I mean, you're always at work. Especially this time of day, I imagine. I mean, usually it's a few hours later and you're still at work. So I did decide to grab the beer if anyone is wondering. Uh, it's Stash's fault. He mentioned it. The, the guy that doesn't even drink. But as I mentioned there last night, my wife's away for work for a couple more days. So I'll get away with being a bachelor. That's right. I'm just being a bachelor. Oh, Kostich. And, oh, my. Are you kidding me? Vlahovic again. Just, he overran the ball. Just nice little, just like a tap-in cross almost. Coming in hot up the wing and no connection. I mean, Vlahovic, for his sake, really, really does have to. Welcome back, Dash. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Um, I thought I shut my phone off. I just, anyways. Um, again, Flowfish. They're showing the replay. No, not that replay. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, Vlahovic could just knock it at the end of it. Unfortunate. I mean, that one might have looking at it again. Bit of a reach. Yeah, but he put himself in terrible positioning, though. Yeah, I mean, there's always that argument too. So KB says terrible first half. Yeah, I mean, it, it isn't, I think, and we talked about it during the, our little halftime talk where we weren't expecting it to be pretty just because uh, some of the things that we noticed was for every one Juventus offensive player, there was two Maccabi players on him. So, like, it, it, it's a little bit, a little bit tough for that, to be honest, for us to play beautiful per se just because of what's uh, what's going on and what Maccabi's offering us. So, I mean, even with PSG, they, they did the same thing, and it was ugly for them. Oh, did I miss something? Uh, the Vlahovic miss. An oh, he did another one? No, no, it's the same one. I love this. They have, like, the discount uh, Ansu Fadi. They just have an Abu Fanny. So <laughs> I just get reminded of Ansu Fatty. Uh, looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait for the reaction. It's in, everybody. He did it. He did it. There was no excuses that time. He had half the field to run into that one. But I uh, just want to say hey to a nice Meg on the keeper. I just want to say it to everybody in the chat. Didn't we say that? I said, wait for uh, you guys going to let Maccabia push up front, and then they're going to come at him and beat him with space. Was that a Di Maria pass again? It was a Di Maria pass. Jesus. Somebody's on tonight with the passes. That is something that is, I mean... I was just saying, we need to see him do something, or he's going to have have to answer. And, I mean, he didn't just answer right here. Yeah, two assists for Angle. Very, very good. Well, so, that's man. one goal in three matches, so Rabio has a better uh, goal per game average. <laughs> <laughs> You mean a rabbi goat? Yeah. <laughs> I would say he said to keep talking about him. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll just trash him and keep on scoring. I yeah, know, just keep trash talking <laughs> Vlahovic. Vlahovic, you suck. <laughs> Number 10, okay, he stays. Was that uh, Vlahovic or? Yep. Or Di Maria? No, he's. I think he meant for Vlahovic. 
Arsenal's going to buy him, no? They're going to try to buy everyone, but everybody realizes how much of a joke they are as a club. Uh, there's, are they still in first? I think they are. That didn't change this weekend, did it? It must be easy when they don't have to play in Europe. Gosh, I'll just search right here. Check the EPL standings real quick. Arsenal is still 21 points at the top. Man City with 20. Tottenham 17 third. Brighton in fourth. They're the Udinese this year. And then Chelsea. Man United in six. And uh, the new oil club, Newcastle, sitting in seventh. So this is going to be perfect. So we're going to just have to uh, – this is where we're going to start seeing the game open up a little bit because Maccabi has to commit players to. forward. Yeah. So this is where you start seeing it a little bit more jointed as far as the attack goes for us. We're going to see more more creation, more plays, just because now we have space. Because if you look at it now, um, Maccabi has roughly about seven, eight players right now uh, pushing forward that Juve is going to have a lot more space to counter. All right, so Oscar's asking, so can we talk a bit about the best result in the other match? Uh, if they tie. If they tie, it opens up the group entirely. So hypothetically, if uh, they're currently at seven and we're at three, and then if we beat Benfica, or not Benfica, if we beat Maccabi again and we're at six and say that they tie again, um, this is you know a little bit of fantasy, but if there, if there were two ties and both of them are level at eight points, then that means it kind of opens up the group entirely. So that would be the best for us to try to win the group. But yes. for us just to secure the group would be to tie this match and then one of them win the next match. Yes. Because then we only have to take one less. We have to undertake less points again to second in that case. Yep. So then we would have to beat the loser of the, the, the derby between Benfica and PSG. So, like, for example, if this game finishes off in a tie and then say that Benfica loses the next game, that means we have to beat Benfica. Because then Benfica would be on seven points and we would be at six points and then uh, when we play each other respectively. So then that would give us the opportunity to leapfrog them. Uh, then we would go up by two and then we would need a tie against PSG at home. This this is going to get complicated. This it, it'll it'll get weird, guys. <laughs> to be honest with you, it gets weird. So the, I mean, I, I get it. And I think hopefully we answered your question the best way that we possibly can, Oscar. But if, again, if... PSG wins this game and they win the next game, then we'd just have to beat Benfica uh, straight up. And then whatever happens, the last game happens per se, but anything can happen. So it, right now the result, if it's still tied, the result's decent. Again, there's not really, not really a preferred result because either way you got to win against Benfica or PSG. You got to beat those guys. You better not turn down the tempo. Uh, it doesn't appear so at this point. Yeah, they're still they're still pushing. Uh, the one thing that they want to do is uh, they want to start to catch Maccabi uh, out of position. So, <sighs> Quadrado slow. <laughs> he says, "Don't slow down the tempo," and the ball just gets past the Quadrado. <laughs> <laughs> is it still one one for who? Yep, it uh, is. Benfica PSG and, is oh, still one one. Yeah. Okay, we got the ticker off. Hey, that's why am I not doing that? Take advantage of my extra real estate here, you know. <laughs> I'm a high roller now with a second screen. Every time I see Corrado touch the ball, I just get like slowly frustrated inside on the inside. I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> All All right. Got my screens good now. I'm absorbed in radiation. So it looks like Maccabi's not really pressing yet. They're still, I think they've kind of understood that this game is long gone, so they're just kind of doing what they're doing. Oh, well, eh. Do you saw him trying to throw one in the box now? Cleared yeah, away. He's, he's trying to do his, uh, his corner kick training. That's not a bad ball to McKenney. D. Marie with the corner. Yeah. 
Yeah, with uh, KB and Bones, man. Uh, every time I see Cordado touch the ball, it frustrates me because he doesn't he's know what he's going to do with it. He's touching the ball. Does not know what to do with it. <laughs> Sorry. It was just good timing. No, yeah. <laughs> But again, look at this. So, like this action with him outside the box was like the first time—the first time I've actually seen him move the ball quickly. Where he usually takes a touch, takes like a panoramic view of the field, and then decides to move with it. But uh, I'm very surprised why Maccabi's not pressing right now. I guess they've just completely accepted it at this point. They know there is zero hope to advance out of this group. I mean, they could compete for a Europa League spot. I don't think they can. Yeah, they could just beat uh, PSG and Benfica. Oh my God, if they beat Benfica, Adrian would just rage. He'd be like, how is this possible? I don't think, no, that won't happen. I don't think, I think they're coming out with zero points. I don't know if that's just me being a dick right now, but. I think I think they could force a tie with Benfica at home. They can force a tie with us at home as yeah, well. They could do that as well. But well, I'm I don't thinking think they will. You don't think so? No. I don't think, just from what I've seen, like we're kind of playing a leg ball here a little bit. A, a more progressive version, I'll give you that. But Yeah, but Maccabi's still sitting deep. Like I think they're running a back seven right now. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six across the back, two defensive midfielders, a central midfielder, and yeah, a striker. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Jesus. they are running it ridiculously. Like, the, how? There's it no looks, way. It's a T. It's, yeah. It's a T. So, this is a uh, 7 2 1 1. That's funny. I never. Never thought I would say that. Seven, two, one. Is that a thing? Is that enough numbers? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, apparently that's that's what all the. Uh... Oh, oh, ah, uh... ah, uh, not quite. Flavich misses again. Yeah, he can't uh, miss those. Feed Di Maria's feeds tonight, though. He yeah, Di Maria is oh, doing man. way too much work for Vlahovic to miss those. I'm sorry. Like that to me, you can't miss that. You can't. He shot that right at the goalie. Okay. So the whole Rabio man of the match so far, maybe for the first half, but Di Maria is the match MVP right now. All right, so I'll update the scores. So uh, Chelsea over Milan, 1-0. Benfica PSG tied at 1. Man City 4, Copenhagen 0. Real Madrid to Shakhtar Donetsk one. Uh, Sevilla is down to Dortmund one to three. Ah, cry. I think I chose Sevilla to win two. Bastards. All right. <laughs> um, that was the team that I I told that story yesterday. The Sevilla game I went to in Spain. So corner kick from Di Maria and a wild volley. Okay, so Oscar's changing this tune now as well. And Bones. Yeah, everyone's on the Di Maria train. Choo choo. <laughs> Quadrado LVP. Yeah? Quadrado's the ugly stepchild that we want to say I, that doesn't exist. Man, so they took DeShilio out for Sandro. They could have taken Quadrado out and put DeShilio in. Or kept him in. Yeah. So put Sandro in for Quadrado. I would have liked to see that better, personally. Because DeShilio is more of a right back anyways, so he was playing on the left. You can just move him to the right. I'm making sense to myself. <laughs> so they just had a free kick and didn't relieve an attempt. I, every time I see Ansu Fati, I just like laugh. I keep thinking it's Ansu Fati. I, I said that before. It's just, I know. It's, it's just the discount Ansu Fati. I know. It's just because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sitting there and I'm thinking it every time you say it too. So every time I see it, I'm just like sitting there. I'm like, oh, that's so, so funny. similar. But okay, so perfect. So even though it was a little bit ahead, but Paredes again, 
moves the ball forward for Di Maria. Di Maria just couldn't get to it in time. That is what you need when you're counterattacking. You need your main ball mover to move the ball quickly. Why Cordero has the ball in counterattacks, I do not know, because he is not an elite passer of the ball. He should not be touching it. He should just be opening up as an option up ahead, and that is it, as uh, as we've seen evident Check today. This out. So Tech just put the ball onto the post, and Maccabi's on the corner now. So good on Tech. And Juve better wake up. Look dangerous, but we're safe. Oh, now the counter. Good clear. Oh, what a beautiful pass. And Rabiot it. He Rabiot it. Oh, that's the real Rabio. <laughs> His first touch was atrocious. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, hey, Rabio's back. Oh, my. He oh, got, yeah. Oh, it oh. was ugly. Ugly. That He just dumped that ball like 10 feet in front of him. Yeah, that was atrocious. Oh, that was so bad. We need to keep an eye out on that winger from Shakhtar. Yeah, what's his yeah. name again? Um, oh, man, remind me. Let me do it real quick. Somebody, somebody, fuck. Quick, because it's bothering me. <laughs> I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. Uh, did you did you say that um, Chelsea's getting is manhandling Milan right now? Two zero. Two zero. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Murduk. Murduk. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yes, I believe he has a. Goal. Yes. I'm sorry that it's delayed for you. I don't even know what's going on. All Watch I see is it. block. Flags up, never mind. Uh, it's about to sink into my seat. Oh, just. They're going to check it, though. He had a bit of a lean forward. And I am drinking gonna... beers now because he mentioned it, so. They're going to say his knee's offside. <laughs> the ref's even like, he's. it's close, it's close. <laughs> Do they have a camera on that angle? Check over. That was quick. No, they've got that uh, that special offside technology for the Champions League. Where no, like... I know, I know. I'm making fun. So the goal does not stand. Yeah. <sighs> hey, uh, I was gonna say, just like you said, I think I saw. Is that Kendreva by the corner flag? <laughs> Man, the memes. It was tight, though. It was probably just his kneecap. From the that angle off. I saw real quick. And they didn't really slow it down. Um, but offsides, it looked like his... Yeah. yeah, just a slight lean forward. That offsides rule pisses me off, to be honest with you. Because it's like... How is like an inch or a tenth of an inch of someone's knee going to be that much of a difference or an advantage in scoring? It does take away the black and white of the situation, though. Quadrado, I I guess. Oh man. No, that was McKenny. Sorry. The hair sometimes throws me off. McKenny's got the bit of blonde in it though. But it was what a quadrado best. pass that McKenny just yeah. did. I think he fell before he even finished it. <laughs> <laughs> he like fell before he even finished the pass. He just kind yeah. of face planted. Sandro with the block. There you go. They're pressing though now. Oh, call on the field. They must have, must have saw a foul. So, uh, reasoning why DeShilio got subbed out was a uh, muscle problem. Okay. And now Kostic is out. So, uh, Locatelli's in. For Loka, yeah. So, and Bernucci for quad. Are we going to a 3 uh, 5, five two? 2. How? Oh, Sandro's playing up and Quadrado are going to be playing. Oh, no. 
Quadrado's out, right? So who's going to be the wing back? I mean, it's a good move. They finally took him out. I'm not going to lie. I think Quadrado yeah. needed to be subbed out. And just Benucci goes in for a few minutes to keep the team calm. So-called yeah. leadership. Let's see how it looks. Benucci ship. Yeah. Honestly, though, like Quad needed to come out. Okay, what if uh, KB KB has a really good comment? What if they uh, <laughs> what if they pull in Chiesa out of nowhere? Just mic drop him in. Yeah, just mic drop him <laughs> in. The last like five minutes, you see Chiesa's number. You see seven. I would celebrate like it was a goal, dude. The entire stadium would erupt. Cherry's so. the guy with the top knot, so it's like a cherry on top. There. I out dad joked you. Another feed. <laughs> oh. Offside? No? Yeah, oh, it's offside. Yeah, they shifted Danilo to the right back position. Oscar saying Kiesa and Pogba. I'm way more excited for Keys, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not unexcited for Pogba's return because I actually want to see him. Do something, you know, <laughs> actually play a game. Uh, but keys, I am. Uh, it's been so long. It's been a year. Wow. So they they did the offsides thing. Apparently, Vlahovic's head was offsides. His head. Yeah. That's why I don't like that rule because it's like, yes. how is he leaning forward? Like I don't know. Arm, arms and head shouldn't count. Like that. That to me is just kind of stupid. But it is a lot more black and white, like I said. I mean, yeah, there's no ambiguity. You're supposed to get rid of the ambiguity. All right. Do you... mm. No, they're trying. Again, it's kind of a bit sloppy. It's sloppy, but they're pressing forward. They're trying to create something in Maccabi's box, even though Maccabi's oh, wiped with 10 deep. McKenny's trying. So again, this isn't us, you know, taking our foot off the pedal and some folks are were complaining or anything like that. No, I don't think that has happened yet. It's, we it's have almost, the majority of the ball. Yeah, it's also similar to what we did against Bologna. So for what it's worth, there is some consistency. Sandro's blocking, man. I mean, he ended up giving it up again by two blocks. Pressing up high, too. So that's, that's nice to see from him. He's coming a little fresher. Oh, another ball up top. No, <laughs> not quite enough on that one. Did Vlapic just get out muscled? It appeared kind of like, yeah. <laughs> KB with the VAR out now. He's just <laughs> out everything. Go to Jim Ducey. Yeah, didn't you see his uh, gem videos today? Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> He's doing those bird dogs. Yep. Okay, well, Maccabi's trying to play it around the box here. Cherry's got it. Oh. This is ugly. This is ugly right now. I think we got away with something. And a counter now with Flahovic. Oh, Zero goodness. support. Yeah, and the play's caught up. See, why is Flahovic slowing down? Run towards net. <laughs> I think. Hi. With that one, I think he picked up the ball a little slow and he lost his momentum. I, I guess so, but like, hey man, push forward. If he kept going out wide, it would have been just an ISO one-on-one. -on -one. That could be an Allegri instruction too to contain. Don't take the chances. Well, bleep Cause, Allegri. Because, I mean, if he fumbles that and then the counter goes the other way and everyone's out of position now. So, I mean, it's... You can say it, it was an all right play decision you can argue it Jeez, oh, they just man. showed the tech save again man 
Bocatello just kind of jumps in and just slams into anything at this point. He's like just a slide tackling machine. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch out, though. He does pick up cards. Seventy first minute now. Um, yeah, this is that time part of the the game where it's just like you get a beer, you grab another beer, or such is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, again, <laughs> it looks like it, so substitutes, and we are going to see Moisey Keen. It looks like he is getting we? ready yes. to get subbed in. A discount Ansu Fatty is coming off. <laughs> Abu Fanny is named number six. <laughs> Or Nita it's, like, it's like when you go to Amazon, you try to order an Ansu Fadi and you end up getting an Abu Fadi. <laughs> yeah. <Funny>. Rich.com. <laughs> so, Are you throwing any weaknesses or signs of retreat? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, we're not sitting back and letting Maccabi have the ball and attack us. Um, you know, there's going to be spells of the game. Guys, where, like... sorry. Just because this is crazy. It's Doosan making way for Moisey. I thought that was seven mil. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> but here it is. This is like I said. I said 75th minute. We're at 72. So first prediction, not not far off. Well, hey, Moise Keen has no excuse not to score. He's being played in his natural position. Uh, he's got. I think he's got decent speed. One one through ball over the top. He's in. But uh, answering your question, Michael, not really. Um, Maccabi hasn't really pressed us or challenged us into a way where we're kind of concerning or anything like that. Again, it's part of the game where like every team has an action or two that kind of breaks through and something happens out of it. But defensively, we've looked decently well. Um, we're maintaining possession. We're kind of attacking Maccabi, even though we're up 2-0. So we're not doing the old Allegri sit down and give Maccabi the ball and just grind out the result. So there is ball movement. It's not tiki taka movement, but there is ball movement that's going on. Uh, as far as weakness, I, I just I haven't seen anything yet because they're still they're doing through balls, over the top balls. They're they're still coming at Maccabi. It's almost like they're playing like they're losing against them. So they're just coming at them right now. Like there's an attack with Locatelli, Sandro, and Keen and Rabio right now. So not not really any any glaring weaknesses per se i still think quadrado as a defender is a liability for sure so uh we need another winger to help out susan if we're going to play counter football <laughs> so i had to say susan because i've actually uploaded videos off my phone and it's defaulted back to susan <laughs> and i would like look back an hour later i'm like it says susan and Luckily, there's like eight <laughs> views on it because who's looking up Suzanne Vlahovic? And then they change it the S back to a D and it goes like, it shoots up. People start watching it all of a sudden. But uh, yeah, the struggle is real on that one. Uh, we could just call it call him the boy named Sue. <laughs> well, I mean, we do have another winger. His name starts with Fede and ends with Chiesa. Freddie Church. We got the church that's coming back. He's going to be church putting of all... Frederico. He's going to be putting everybody on their knees. All right. So, ironically, I just said Keen, that we've been Keen's playing. He's got the ball. Keen, ah, sorry. I'm going to get excited every time we touch the ball. Oh, no. What's happening? There's so, it looks like... Uh, Looks like Keen assisted a goal right there. Ooh, that's really bad play from Chesney. Chesney came out way too quickly for that. Uh, Maccabi has gotten one back. He missed the ball. He came out. Ah, oh, yeah, he just. Yeah, Chesney had no business with that one. Uh, I see where he was going. Yeah, I appreciate. Just, I, 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 nah, that's. So here's here's a little bit what's funny here is that's kind of the same goal that PSG scored against uh, or what they scored against PSG a through ball through the top uh, through the center of the defense where they caught everybody lacking per se. Um, 
Not a good read by Bremer. Also a very terrible read by Chesney. Chesney had no business stepping out for that one. Uh, Bremer was close to him. I don't think he was going to get separation from Bremer. Uh, but uh, that was a bad read by Chesney. I'm going to say that was an error on Chesney. Uh, again, I know where his head was, and I can kind of appreciate <laughs> challenging the ball, but he was just he, <coughs> he was way close. too way too far out of the box to do that kind of challenge. Okay, so, guys, if you guys aren't watching the game, Chesney tried slide, slide tackling off the ball, but he was about five to five meters away from the 18-yard box. So it was a uh, really bad misplay by Chesney on and, that one. And who's to say with that slide tackle thing he did that he wasn't going to clip him and get a red card? I know. That's, that's the other thing, too. Very, very sloppy. Yeah, that's – yeah. That's a, a for sure. I mean, he should not have been put into that position, but ultimately. But I think, better. I don't think he needed to even be in that position because Bremer was maybe a step and a half off. So like Bremer could have caught up to him because he didn't, um, he, the Maccabi player didn't have control of the ball. He was just chasing the ball when Chesney came out. And by the time Chesney came out, he was able to get a flick to the side and have an empty shot on net. So we're seeing Maccabi push now out with yep. some confidence, throwing so the balls at the net. My question right now for the Juventus is, is what are they going to do? Are they going to crumble or are they actually going to show us this new Juve that Allegri was bragging about? Because Bologna didn't score against them, whereas Maccabi have scored. So do they, do they go for another one or do they freak out? So this is where we actually get to see how the team is really made. Because cheap goals like this happen in the game. It's football. You'll concede, but now it's on the team whether or not are they going to have the mental fortitude to keep going or if they're going to just crumble. So, guys, sit to sit tight. It's going to be a fun 12 minutes. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so Sandro's ball control tonight is decent. <clears throat> Di Maria pulled back. Allegri with a not so great look on his face, a bit a bit worrisome. That worried look, the long eyes. His uh, his substitutions are going to be key right now. Well, he just put Keen on, so another over the top to nothing. I think he might switch to a 4 4 2 and put uh, Milik in if it stays like this. 11 minutes. Uh, another over the top the other way. Do we awesome. do we have a, a score update on Benfica and PSG? Chelsea's Anybody? up 3 nothing now. Benfica PSG is still tied. I ripped so him along. Chelsea, Chelsea is. Uh, Doing some work. So Fofana, Abayama Yang, and James. Sandro tracking back. Man City 5 not like man. Holland's got two for the night so far. And Sandro just get, gave away bad. Lucky, honestly, that's not a yellow. Slide tackle. Oh, you got the yellow. That's yeah, a really ugly slide tackle by Sandro. Still 1-1. One, one. That's what Oscar's telling us. Yeah. It's like checking in with our correspondent, Oscar Hannibal Hernum. <laughs> Current update from Oscar. It is 1-1 one, one, PSG Benfica. Back to you, Dave and Dash. <laughs> I feel like the news chopper sound going. I know. I got the helicopter helicopter sound bit saved. Oh, do you? All your your sound bites. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's another thing. Surprise, guys. I got some sound bites that I'm about to sprinkle in on the show shortly. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do that stuff and things. Keep on reminding me. Nah, I gotcha. Whoa. Okay, Tex uh, kind of redeemed himself just now. Oh no, okay, it was at the side of the net. Oh, 
It's still a good cover, though. Just trying to find out, did he actually touch it? I don't think he did. Nope, he didn't. What a let off. That was a free kick from just outside the box again from that Sandro yellow. Uh, close. You know how funny that would have been if he actually like ripped a hole in the net? I would have died laughing. I, yeah, anything. Anytime anything like that happens. Kenny, no. Like we sweating. Yep. <laughs> Tense moments for sure. He's, he's sitting there. He's like, shit, I don't want to lose my job. I thought I had this in the bag. He's like, no. It's like, I don't want to be serving soups at the uh, local department store in Naples. I came out today. He's got some side hustle already. Owned some business. <laughs> yeah, I would too if my ass is in the hot seat. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, things are, oh, the uh, Israeli Curva is throwing stuff at Di Maria. Does look like there's a couple bottles on the pitch. Yeah, he's like, I'm not taking this until you do something about it. It is, I mean, it is good time wasting if you think about it. And that's what he's being accused of. <laughs> now Di Maria's picking up the bottles, throwing them in the corner. All right, so... I think, guys, Rabio just scored a goal. I think. He, he, oh my God, I'm speechless. Rabio has two goals. Two goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Wow. Hey, it's the ponytail, guys. It's his mom. His mom oh. tied a very stiff ponytail. If you guys watch the replay, Jeez. you can see it goes off the ponytail. So, Veronica Rabio, we love you to an extent. You're still kind of a pain in the ass when it comes to contracts, but oh, because man. you tied your son's ponytail so <laughs> stiff, stiffer than a morning woody, he was able to score that goal. Oh, my God. Oscar, MVP back. I mean, that was a Di Maria. That's a Di Maria assist. It is. That's off the corner from Di Maria, direct. No deflection, nothing like it was Peter Rabio. My, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> he scored oh. one with his head. He scored one with his foot. <laughs> He's sitting there, and he's like, you can see him walking up. He's like, hey, guys, my mommy tied my hair for me. That's why I scored that. <laughs> Hey, just oh, sub him out man. now. Just sub him out now. <laughs> this is too funny, man. Hey, number 10, he doesn't want Allegri to go because Allegri's the only coach that'll play him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's the thing, though. It's funny because, like, again, so it's like I got Twitter opening on one window, and I have the game, and I have you guys here. And it's like, you know, we have a bad – Five, six minutes of spell going on. And oh, they're like, just going to hell with them, eh? Yeah, like they're, oh my gosh, this team is making Macabre look like Prime Barca or stuff like that. <laughs> guys, man. I'm like, damn, chill. Like, You're I get right. it. I, I get I get the whole being objective thing, but like, it's kind of ironic because like a bunch of anti Juve fans or Juve fans that are just shitting on the club literally right before that corner kick where like Downs in the club saying how bad we suck and then Rabio just scores. Man, so uh, Perlades out, Merletti and Fabio getting some uh, well learned minutes in the Champions League. Five minutes to go. I'm going to just start calling him Rabbit just for KB because of that auto Rabbit, Rabbit and Susan. Rabbit and Susan. We got that's going to be church. Yeah. And so number 10, perfect comment, perfect timing too. Cause remember, so how we were talking about it uh, a couple actions ago where we're saying that, Hey, this team naturally has been crumbling every time they concede. Let's see how they respond. They did. That is it right there. They responded. Yeah. That's something that we didn't see. Rabio. Freaking Rabio of all people, man. Rabbit. We got to call him Mother Rabbit. Mother effing. Jack Rabbit. Jack Rabbit. Whatever. <laughs> he looks like one. But, ma, Monsieur Rabbit. <laughs> Monsieur. What, what is Monsieur. a rabbit in French? You'd think I would know these things. 
We should, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start calling him Munkur Rabbit. Rabbit in French. Why do I care? Lapin. Monsieur Lapin. Monsieur Lapin. There we go. We got his name. All right, so five minutes until uh, close practically uh, until we set up shop. I think it's going to be a, a nice chill. I know you wanted Keen to score, but you got a, 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 hey. a hey, Monsieur there's Lapit. There's, there's still time. Monsieur Lapit goal. I still can't believe it. He, <laughs> he's done. He's like. Um, he cashed in all of his like power ups and his bonuses in this one game. <laughs> yeah. I'm like worried that like we should just never play him now after this game because I don't think he's gonna do anything. Even Allegri, well, he's going just, again. He's going for it. He has not given up. Allegri's like sitting there. He's like, "What is this? I don't even know what's going on. I didn't even expect this." He's like, "I, I never got this far." Like, look at him. He's like shoulder tussling with their defender. What is wrong? What is with this guy? Oh, again, and see, and this is why I'm not really concerned with Maccabi. That so-called cross. I mean, he wasn't even pressured. He just crossed it. it like it was a pass to attack. And that's kind of been their story for most of the night is just no quality, really, in a lot of their passing. I'm telling you, I think Rabio is trying to either A, make the World Cup team, and B, get that contract or no longer a contract from somebody. Because there's no way in hell anyone's paying him 10 mil. Even PSG, if you were to go back there. Oh, yeah. Here's a good call here by Oscar. I know. And normally, uh, Monsieur Lapin only plays good against Lapin. good teams. Now he does it against Taifa. Monsieur Lapin. <laughs> Oh, maybe I can convince Farhad to uh, make a shirt, Monsieur Lapin, and <laughs> yeah, just the ponytail. <laughs> That's all, though. It would just be a ponytail. I could just imagine the conversation, too. He'd be looking at us. He'd be like, guys, seriously, out of all the things, out of all the Juve stuff you yes. want, you want me to make a rabbit, <laughs> a rabio shirt, a Lapin yeah, shirt. Monsieur Lapin. And it's like an inside joke with just the TG people. I don't know. Would you would you guys be down for a shirt like that? Oh, ball to Keen. Oh, goalkeeper beat him to it. Oh, he almost magged the goalkeeper. Now he was offsides. Uh, I mean, the important thing is that Blahovic finally gets some rest because he doesn't get much of that. Susan? Suze? Susan. Whatever happened to the days that your autocorrect figured out that you type things certain ways? Like the amount of times I say ducking to things. Yeah. I when in my life do I need to say ducking? I'm this clearly is... <laughs> Keen, come on, buddy. Come on. Keen, Keen is ducking ridiculous. <laughs> like look at this keen why are you slowing down oh man that that was it that was it jesus he just ruined my prophecy yeah thanks a lot keen you just costed us like 200 euros we put it on a parlay of your bum ass scoring oh they bring it off the post again the cabbie man Way too close once again. I mean, Chesney had that covered though. Four extra minutes, and another curler. Tex pushes pushes it away this time, and Rabio has to kill the play. Wow, Monsieur. just going to bed. Oh, Monsieur Lapit was there. With the touch, the wee wee, he touch it. He uh, take it out for a corner. That was a venomous shot, man, with that curl on it. I know. Good on tech for reading it, though, because that was through traffic. I mean, he, he did make the mistake earlier, but 
I don't understand how he made that mistake. That to me is just really weird. <laughs> and now Tech comes in as Ted for KB. Teddy Bear. Ted needs to go back. We'll to have ridiculous change. names for everyone by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think KB is literally going to make up half the nicknames for the players like Rabbit. He uh, did Ted. We'll call him Ted. Lean Keen. Oh, man. I can't believe he missed that shot. Yeah. He's doing a good job holding up the ball. At this point, I think we're just going to ice the game down, shut her down. I think that's what the team's looking for. Two and a half minutes. Yeah, I mean. Unless Keen wants to go for them for that goal. He's got to prophesize, man. Fulfill it. I mean, would you take a, a Rabio brace, a Lepit over a, a Keen goal right now? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, now Maccabi's just launching stuff. It's like, hey, here's the funny thing, Dave. Go on Twitter, and it's completely quiet right now. Oh, is it? Oh, it's it's hysterical. I you just scroll right past that shit. I know. It's just the thing is, is like, even even uh, Zio Beppe says it too. He's like, guys, you gotta relax, man. Like, especially during a game when some folks just like flip out and just spam a bunch of stuff on social media. Like, guys, you're not you're not watching the game if you're spamming yeah. social media. Like, you're I not... understand us, like YouTubers, whatever. Oh man, McKenny always launched one. Um, yeah, I mean, but if you're just some bro. 34 followers on Twitter losing your shit. Like, yeah, man, relax. <laughs> Not saying I'm like this is big whatever. I have like, what? Yeah. Something followers. Most of them are because they listen to the podcast, not because they listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're final minute, final 50 seconds. So it's a uh, good night, Irene. Hey, uh, Oscar, if you're there, can you give me the Benfica PSG update? Just because oh, yeah, you know yeah, you're. Uh, it's uh, still you're, at one. Oh, that did not update. You're a uh, you're PSG Benfica correspondent, uh, Oscar 90, Hannibal. It's ninety plus one, and it's one one. Already cool. Kane's got the ball. Do it, buddy. Do it. He's got open space. He's got open space. Oh, he, he just gives it away. <laughs> Keen, man, it's not a charity, dude. What is, this isn't the Maccabi Hafia charity, man. Just, what are you? Uh, Cole says Keen. he would like it if Keen scored over Rabio. <laughs> I mean, but what's the chances of Rabio scoring two? A belter and a header. And it's over, full time. GG's 3 1. Ha. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> there she be. Yeah. Good game, guys. And Neymar got one also. He's saying Fabian Rui, Ruiz. Oh, yellow card. Two yellows just got thrown up. So, uh, we officially take third place in the standings. If. Things hold 90 plus two. In fact, we'll just we'll kill the stream after uh after full time. You know what? I'm actually gonna switch over to the PSG game. Just to catch the last few minutes, just to report, just uh so we can finalize the standings here, really. No, yeah, no, that's fine. Oh man, one almost just went in too. So uh Milan's still getting slapped, schmacked. Yeah. Three zero. Those goal scorers, Mafana Abiyamiang and Elise James. Madrid wins two one. Man City wins five zero. Seville. No, Oscar, you're down. not fired. We still love you, Oscar. Oh. <laughs> oh, and you're welcome, number 10. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it was interesting and fun. I mean, we have fun. 
Uh, I think I think we had fun. Yeah, you guys. I, mean, I, I wasn't sure if this format would hit, but it did seem to do pretty well. So thank you. Yeah, I mean, again, it gives us uh, more opportunity to bond with you guys, make some inside jokes, and also we're not just doing a show per se, and we kind of have our our live thoughts. Oh, we love us. you too, we, Oscar. We love you too, Oscar. <laughs> so much love. I love it. Love the love. So right now, um. We're kind of just talking about PSG and Benfica. They're still currently playing right now. So we're just kind of looking at the live ticker there. Uh, throwing ball from Bach. So not really anything too crazy going on there. Uh, did it say how many? So four extra minutes are on to the last time. Three minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah, so that game is about to wrap up. So it looks like it's about to be a 1-1 tie. Interesting. So Messi scored PSG's goal and then Perea with an own goal for... Uh, for Benfica per se, so Benfica didn't really attack PSG. It, this so. does make things interesting. We are very much in it. So as it stands, Four Benfica off the PSG top. at seven. We have three, and Maccabi of course have zero. So yeah, four points. Four points separated all. And the only the only issue that I have is is we're playing Benfica in Portugal. That, that is yeah. gonna, that is going to be tough. <laughs> that that is going to be tough. Well, as so, PSG is funny out right now. Yeah, so Benfica away is tough. Um, I think as far as like post-match reactions on our end, do we have really anything? Do you have anything you want to talk about? Oh, we're going to cover it tomorrow, of course. Yeah. Um, any any live things you want to get off your chest? Just, just... <laughs> they made it too close sometimes, honestly, and it shouldn't have been like that. But uh, full-time, loan, so... Seven seven three zero. I mean, four yeah. four off. He's, we're still in this one, guys. So, yeah. and, and I think it's... this. I think this was a perfect game in my not like a perfect game as far as like performance wise, but metaphorically, because like the thing is, is we've we've crumbled every time we've conceded a goal. Every time there's a game that we've had a goal conceded, I don't think we've won a single game that we've conceded a goal in. If you think about it, because mm. uh, like for example. Uh, Spezia, we won that shutout. Um, Sassuolo, we won that shutout. Uh, every other game that we've conceded a goal has been a tie or a loss. Yeah. So this was a good sign from the club because they were able to continue to push forward. Even though they conceded, they didn't crumble. Because that's the one thing is, is like, and I think a lot of people are anticipating it too on Twitter per se. That's why there's a lot of the negative tweets of same old club, garbage this, garbage that. Um, I didn't see that, in my opinion. I saw a club that continued to push forward. Yeah. Don't, don't pay attention, man. <laughs> Just don't pay attention. So, you know, we, we it's it sucks, but you know, as YouTube commentators, we just kind of kind of have to see what's going around in the space. But I think uh, I think we're going somewhere, guys. I mean, we're starting to head in the right direction. The team's a little bit more confident now. The team's gonna say, hey. Maccabi pushed us. We made some good saves. They conceded. We they conceded on us, or we conceded on them, but we still managed to get another one back in. That's the that's the one thing. That's the one thing that Juve's missed uh, over the last year and a half is being able to bounce back after conceding, and we showed that we did. Yeah, it's Maccabi, so we yeah. can make that argument that it's a shit team or a lower quality team, but you got to start somewhere, guys. You got to start somewhere. So, absolutely. I think, I think we should. Uh, I think we're gonna call it. Uh, I think Giuseppe is doing a post game stream right now. Um, okay. Um, I think you know, can... it was really. I do not think I did it justice. Uh, I will have to listen back to that part of it, but I think I butchered it personally. But we got Big Daddy Dash back. Oh, am I doing the AMS, uh, ASMR? You know Sit there and be like, all right, guys, get ready for your midday lit nap. We got the Dobarunski with Monsieur Lepit with a heady and a bendy. So with that being said, I'm going to go back to my regular voice because that just sounds really weird. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow on our post game show. With so thanks that for cultural boy. With we catch him yesterday, tomorrow, once again. With dead Kelchio boy. Anyways, Otherwise guys, known as Alex, because I mean, we'll call people by their actual name around I here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, 
Yeah, I mean, hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Also, thanks for the feedback. So uh, we're going to probably try to do some more watch-alongs uh, whenever <laughs> he said moist. moist. Oscar said moist. <laughs> but nice. um, we'll try to do some more watch-alongs. We'll schedule some more watch-alongs. And uh, again, go ahead and see Zio Beppe. I believe he's going to be doing a post-game stream with that, too. Bye, everybody. Forza Juve. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Forza Juve. See you tomorrow.